Hello, my name is Danica Nolette, Master's of Nursing thesis route student from the University of Athabasca in the Faculty of Health Disciplines. Thank you for joining me today. I will be presenting a literature review based on qualitative studies focused on transition shock and self-efficacy amongst new graduate nurses amidst a global pandemic. This work has been supported under the guidance of doctors Venice Bryan and Gwen Raffle. I was afraid every single day for months. It's been a very stressful and a bit overwhelming experience. I would just say it's been sad. I feel like my first year I have seen so many people die. Quotes from new graduate nurses worldwide entering the profession during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm sure most of you are aware of the burden the COVID-19 pandemic has placed on frontline nurses and nurse educators over the past two years. As a continuing bedside nurse and nursing student advisor, I have witnessed the challenges nursing practice and education have faced. Nursing attrition rates are increasing as we lose more and more nurses within the first two years working of working in the nursing profession. New graduate nurses feel inept and incompetent in their professional role. Nurses also describe their first year transitioning to practice to be the most wearing of their professional career. The COVID-19 pandemic has magnified this and placed a heavy burden on the healthcare system. The purpose of this literature review was to explore the effects the COVID-19 pandemic had on the transition to practice for new graduate nurses and to identify if self-efficacy influenced their transition shock period as difficult transition experiences lead to increased nursing attrition rates and burnout. A qualitative systematic review was employed as this method allows me, allowed me to present an extensive understanding of new graduate nurses' experiences and perceptions transitioning to the nursing profession amidst the global COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, it allowed me to compare findings from multiple qualitative studies, increasing my understanding and interpretation of the challenges new graduate nurses faced during this global pandemic. Two sources of data are provided within qualitative research review, which includes firstly, the participants quotes, and secondly, the interpretations, statements, assumptions, and ideas from the researchers. Extracting both sources of data helped me maintain the grounded original experiences from the participants, while also attributing the researchers' analysis of the data. A thematic analysis approach was employed during the data synthesis, this approach helped me to provide a summary of the findings from each study and identify prominent themes within the selected qualitative studies. Themes and participant quotes were coded during the data extraction process. And finally, collective findings within the extracted data were coded in categories and subcategories. Resources employed to complete this literature review included extracting articles from the Athabasca University Libraries and Google Scholar. I also utilized the CAPS Qualitative Studies Checklist to critically appraise the articles compiled for this review and displayed my findings using this PRISMA 2020 flow diagram. 12 articles were included in the review. Seven prominent themes were identified from the data synthesized, which included emotionally challenging working conditions, concern about infecting others, lack of senior staff presence, feeling forgotten, dying patients and families in distress, supportive working environments, and finally, mental health and well-being. There was a lack of existing literature addressing a relationship between the transition shock experience and the influence of self-efficacy amongst new graduate nurses during the pandemic, suggesting a direction for possible future research. Thank you for your time and viewing my presentation, and I look forward to your questions.